Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Jeff Hastings. pioneering technology that makes the process of taking pictures easier and the results remarkably better. Allowing us all to share the precious moments we treasure and the benchmarks of our lives with those we love. In fact, many of us fondly refer to those special times as Kodak moments. Gets you a fist doesn't it? Yeah, they shuttle around the schmaltz pretty thick, didn't they? But that kind of crap doesn't work anymore. People want the latest digital things. More power, more features, wireless contraptions, innovative ways to bring their pictures into the 21st century. Well, guess what, bucko? Kodak is doing it. You thought they were just hiding out waiting for this digital thing to blow over, didn't you? Oh, sure. For a while, they were like, oh, there's no way digital's going to catch on. About 20 years ago, they found the first digital camera off on Apple. But now, Kodak is back. They're taking this digital thing to a level undreamed of. Pioneering technology that'll redefine the digital revolution. I know. Big talk coming from the company that unleashed it. Panics onto the world, right? <laughs> well, turn down your mini disc player, fire up your Newtons, and listen up. Because they're not playing crap ass anymore. They got things in their research labs that'll make biometrics look like a happy meal toy. I'm talking facial recognition. GPS-enabled photography so my camera knows where it is. Pictures that learn and group themselves into stories. We're talking meta-knowledge. Cameras that automatically enhance the color of the grass because they know it's grass. Try and patent that. Oh, too late. <laughs> and what about sharing? I'll tell you about sharing. All your friends and family will be emailing their pictures wirelessly to you and sending pictures of Grandma's birthday to your phone and uploading shots of the dog wearing those big stupid sunglasses to your PDA. And they're going to be everywhere because now you won't have to be a Navajo code breaker to use digital. And they're all going to look like freaking any little one shot them because they'll automatically adjust the lighting and the composition for you. No more flash problems, no more red eye. How's that for advance? Booyah! They're going to turn the schmaltz back up to 11. Oh, yes. People will have their Kodak moments again. They're going to bring back all those damn pictures of the cute puppies and the cuddly kittens and the cooing babies and the, the doe-eyed kid. You know the one. They're bringing them all back, all in the same spot. And it's going to be 15 minutes long. And James Cameron will direct it. And Celine Dion will send the theme song while riding along on a unicorn through a few <laughs> baby animals under a big Film 
three people, four, five, six. You made my quarter last year. I appreciate that very much. Where the hell were the rest of you? Now, how many of you own a digital camera or camera on your phone? Raise your hands. Welcome to my world. Five years ago, we started a fundamental transformation, one of the biggest turnarounds in business history. I used to say American business, American business history, but it's business history. Let me tell you why. Because five years ago, we were doing $15 billion in film. 15, you get that? Billion dollars. Today, we'll do less than $200 million in five years. You talk about a job. Reminds me of the first time I met my wife's great grandma. Now I'm from South Dakota. Okay, get, up, get the Snickers out of your system right away. <laughs> Back right here, I'm just going to tell you, this many people in our state, you'd be the fifth largest city in South Dakota. <laughs> oh, laugh now, but we want you at census time, okay? <laughs> now, Grandma Agnes is a very small petite woman. My wife was very small and petite. She's about 5'1", about 105 pounds. I'm 6'3", 280-something pounds. Grandma Agnes is small. Grandma Agnes looked up at Tammy. She looked way up at me. She looked at Tammy. She looked way up at me. She turned back to me and said, isn't he bigger than necessary? <laughs> and that's really what we thought this job, because you can imagine what we came into when we stepped into this company, the leadership that we have today, and to turn around the company that we want to be. And I'm going to talk to you about that because I want to tell you, you're right, you're at the cusp of a lot of things just like we are. And sales and marketing is going through fundamental changes. Because at the same time we turn the corner on our business, you're going through fundamental changes in the sales and marketing. And it's a great time. Ed Zora spoke to you eloquently today at lunch, and he talked about opportunities that are laid down in front of you. I was lucky enough to be tapped to go to this company at the right time in the right place and be the right kind of cowboy to step into a job to change the culture and to change the way a company that had been around for 130 years looked at the way it was doing good. It was fun. I mean, I was so excited the day I got on the plane. I actually went a week early, okay? Before I passed the urine test, everything, I jumped on a plane. Well, there was an iffy time there. And I, <laughs> I jumped on a plane and I'm sitting next to this like 24, 25 year old gal and, and I'm waiting for her to ask me what I do because I am so excited. I mean, we're one of the biggest brands in the world. And she's still, I'm engaging her in conversation hoping she'll ask me so I can tell her. And, and she, you know, she's going on and talking about herself forever. I mean, she's like, blah, 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 blah. like I don't want to hear any of that crap. I mean, <laughs> and so finally she said, well, what do you do? And I said, well, I'm the chief marketing officer for Eastman Kodak. And she said, who's that? Okay? <laughs> and so what we did was we said we had to change the company. And we started to change the company in the way in which you do it. 60% of the people that now work at Kodak are new in the last four years. New. Imagine 60% of this room just changes out overnight in four over four years. All of our employees are new. It's a new type of company. 40% of all commercially printed documents in the world are printed with Kodak technology. Bet you didn't know that. Number one market share. Almost every book, almost every newspaper, almost every printed brochure that you see is printed with code technology. And we were in that business five years ago. <coughs> we're not even in the business five years ago. When you look at the Kodak Gallery, the third largest social networking site in the world, over 75 million members. We're not talking about people who just come and visit the site. We're talking about people who pay us money. By the way, in sales and marketing, that's how you keep score. Okay? One thing to market, another thing to sell. We have over 5 billion high resolution photos. We have more photos, high resolution photos, on the gallery than all of the photo sites in the world combined. And we weren't in that business five years ago. Every motion picture that's ever won, best picture in the history of the Academy Awards, 